So in this video, I'm going to show you how to update to the new GO818. As you're probably aware, if you're working in the United States, uh, the National Geodetic Survey recently released GO818. I'm going to show you how to add these GOE models to your Captivate controllers. Uh, this video will show you how to do this for your older uh, units that haven't been updated. So this would be for Captivate version 3.71 or older. A similar process also applies to your Leica Viva controllers. So I'm here in Leica Infinity and I have uh, several coordinate systems with GO818 attached. Uh, these are noted by the tag G18. So I'm going to export these coordinate systems and the associated GO models so that they can be used in our controller. In Infinity, what I need to do is select the coordinate systems that I want to export. Now you can, in uh, your Captivate controller, you can just add the geoid and attach it to an existing coordinate system. The reason I'm doing it this way is I have these coordinate systems named such that I can tell which geoid model is being used. So in this case, I have uh, uh, G18 designates the, the, the geoid 18 is being used. 12, G12B or 12B indicates that geoid 12B is being used. So I'm going to highlight all of my coordinate systems with geoid 18. Just check to make sure that everything's highlighted. There's another one. There's another one. Then I will select export and I'm going to place this information on a USB drive. I have attached a USB drive to my computer and I'm going to place the files that I have here in the DBX directory. You'll notice that I already have a, a file here noted TRF SET. That is where our coordinate systems are stored. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and type in the name again or select the name. And I want to make sure that I have chosen the top option here. Again, this is for the older Captivate units, uh, older firmware on Captivate units, version 3.71 or lower. So I'm going to select this option and press save. It tells me it already exists on the USB, so if I want to overwrite it, I'll say yes. So I'm looking at my USB drive now, so I will go to the DBX directory. You'll see here is our file, a trfset.dat. This contains all of our coordinate systems, and then Infinity also brings over the geoid models associated with that. So I am just going to highlight each one of those because they need to move to a different directory. Right click on that, go to cut, I'm using Windows Explorer here, just to go up one level, go to data, GPS, geoid, and then I'm just gonna paste those files into that directory. Uh, that's where you're gonna wanna always put your geoid models for transfer into Captivate. So we're done on this side, let's go into Captivate and finish up the process. I have placed the USB drive in my Captivate controller. So now to load the GOI models and coordinate systems, I would go to settings, tools, transfer objects. I'm going to set my object to transfer to coordinate system. Again, this is version 3.71 or lower. Um, so you will not have this um, coordinate system geoid and CSCS zip file here. Um, I'm going to make sure that my from is from the USB. I do want these to go to the internal memory. If I look here, I will see all of the different coordinate systems that I have in my, my DAT file. And I will select the box here that says transfer all objects of type and press OK. Once that process is complete, you'll get the notification here asking if you want to do more transfers. So in this case, we'll say yes set our object to transfer to geoid field file. Again, we're going to go from the USB to the internal memory, check the box to transfer all objects, and press OK. Again, we've got the box uh, telling us that uh, our transfer is successfully completed. And in this case, I don't want to transfer any more objects, so I'll say no. Go back here to the main menu of Captivate. I'll go to our jobs, create a new job here real quickly, give it a name. My, my favorite one, test. Check our coordinate system. Go into our coordinate systems here. See a list of everything that was loaded. And just as a final confirmation, we'll select which the coordinate system we're going to use. Press edit. 
and just confirm that we have our geoid model and if you want to check to make sure that the rest of the geoid models are loaded you can select the arrow to the right and this will show you a list of all the geoid models and where they're located on your Captivate controller. Uh, just as a reminder because of the change with geoid 18 and some updates that are happening on to SmartNet over the next couple of weeks we do recommend that you Go ahead and update to Geoid 18. We also recommend that any one-step transformations that you might have created, that you would go ahead and check those after the update to, G uh, to SmartNet on January the 6th. Have a great day. Thanks.